Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diane Rowe Carroll. This week I've been scoffing down literally mountains of chocolate in the name of science for this question. Hi, I'm Marie from Harrogate in North Yorkshire. My question is, this Christmas, when I get loads and loads and loads of chocolate for Christmas, will it be better for me to eat it all at once or will it be better for me to eat maybe about five or so a day? Not that I'd plan to, of course. So have a Merry Christmas binge or to stretch it out over the holiday. My name is Linda Morgan. I'm a professor of nutritional endocrinology at Surrey University. OK, so better to eat your chocolates all in one go or a few at a time. Well, the short answer is that it doesn't actually make any difference. The extra calories will be the same in each situation. The only effective way to prevent weight gain is to not eat the extra chocolates in the first place, I'm afraid. Evolutionarily, we evolved for feast and famine, and we needed to build up all the body fat that we should have got in the feast times to see us through the famine. However, if you do eat all your chocolates in one go, and you felt queasy afterwards, then you're probably less likely to build up a sort of chocolate habit that lasts well into the new year. On the other hand, if you eat a few chocs each day, you may well end up with a habit that is quite hard to break in the new year. So if you have to eat chocolates, have them all in one go and make yourself sick. <laughs> Turns out you can't fool your intestines into missing a few calories by overloading them. What a shame. Well, next time on Question of the Week, we'll be looking at things from outer space. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I live in Zeist in the Netherlands, near Utrecht. And my question this week is related to something that I heard previously on The Naked Scientist and was to do with lots of rubbish falling to Earth from outer space. And I wondered whether they'd found any life in the rubbish that falls to Earth. So are there any fossils floating around in space? Let us know what you think by emailing chris at thenakedscientist.com or by writing it on our forum. That's at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.